The sounds you are hearing are being played on a new musical instrument called the Axio. It was designed and built by Brad Carew in the Faculty of Environmental Design at the University of Calgary. It does not actually generate electronic sounds. Its role is rather to allow musical control and expression over those sounds. Physical gestures on the instrument generate MIDI data, which are then transferred over to the synthesizer or sampler. AXIO stands for Alternative Expressive Input Object. My name is David Eagle. I am a composer and I teach in the Department of Music at the University of Calgary. My main interest with this instrument is in interactive applications. The instrument you are looking at is a prototype. Further refinement of the AXIO is now continuing beyond this initial prototype stage under the AXIO project. I wanted to give people a more expressive way of controlling electronic sounds so that they could actually perform with these sounds instead of just create them in a studio atmosphere. The controller has two major components. There's the physical controller that you see here and there's a computer program running on a Macintosh computer. First I'll explain the physical part. Here we have three separate control surfaces. We have a keyboard, a chord keyboard, a joystick, and an array of switches. The keyboard is a chord keyboard. It has five keys and notes are formed by making combinations with those keys. Uh, with five keys you get 31 possible combinations. That range is expanded with octave switches under the thumb of the left hand. The keyboard is also velocity sensitive. Uh, a signal is generated according to how hard or soft you hit individual keys. And that's typically used for controlling volume. As well, slight side to side movements generate a signal and that might be used for something like pitch bend. Also, the keyboard generates a signal in response to increasing pressure after a key is already down. The hand rests in a comfortable position on the top of the joystick. It moves forwards and backwards and side to side as you would expect. As well, it pivots about a point back here. So increasing pressure on the front of the joystick also generates a signal. So under the thumb are the octave switches and under the fingers are four programmable switches. As well embedded in the top is a touch sensitive strip. The switches can be programmed for different purposes. Here, the first switch is programmed as a momentary sustain switch. The notes will sustain as long as the switch is held down. The second switch is an on-off sustain switch. If I press it, notes will sustain until I press that switch again. The third switch turns the touch strip off and on. Clicking it again simply turns the strip off. And in this instance, the force switch has not been programmed. The last control surface is a general purpose switch array on the neck of the instrument. In this particular instance, the switches are simply used to change patches on the synthesizer. in electroacoustic music, in particular interactive applications, it is an ideal instrument because of the multidimensional control of the instrument 
I can control various aspects which before I wasn't able to. I believe electroacoustic music should be performed and not only heard on tape and this now allows a lot of what could only be done in the studio previously now to be done live on stage. I think one of the main advantages has to do with gesture. Very simple physical gestures can be translated into complex or apparent musical gestures. So for instance, if I chose a voice, which is in this case it's a sampled voice, uh, it's from a Chinese zither, sounding like this, a simple arpeggio. Um, when I move the, the joystick around, I can modify its dynamics, but I can also be putting in a lot of other nuances. The audience is then aware of how the joystick relates the movements I make on the joystick, how they relate to the sounds that are being presented. There's a direct correlation to what is seen and what is heard. The graphical interface software for the controller is written in the Mac's programming language and runs on a Macintosh computer. The software allows you to configure the controller in the way that you want it to operate rather than in some pre-configured fashion. Here at the top of the screen, down the left-hand side, we have eight possible configurations. We can change the names of those configurations and assign a particular program change number to change the voice on your synthesizer. Here we can select the controllers that correspond to the different axes of the joystick. As you can see we have the X, Y, Z and the touch strip. And We can select controllers for each of these as well as change the channel on which they're going to transmit data. Here we have an example of the joystick controlling an animated cube. The joystick moves it around the screen and pressure controls the speed of the animation. This is a very simple example of a multimedia use of the Axio. In the emerging digital culture, the Axio will allow composers, performers, musicians, artists of all kinds, the expression and control that will be needed in the various new media.